All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. So we are back doing some more British comedy in which today we are doing Al Murray. And uh, this piece is called Einstein, Shakespeare, and Mozart. What geniuses? Then what were they? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? This is going to be interesting because we come to find that Al, Al Murray, he's an incredibly uh, intelligent person. Yeah. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's see what he has to say. Let's go. I don't know about you, but I think the word genius is one that's overused these days. What do you think? You'd agree with me, yeah? Name a genius, Dave. Einstein. Einstein. Oh. Albert Einstein. I love Einstein. You're saying he's a genius. I'm saying he's a mouthy bastard. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> he's got a haircut. Oh. <laughs> Being from Switzerland, there was no army, there was no chance of national service, he didn't get in a haircut. <laughs> As a result, he ended up spouting a load of fucking nonsense. Could have Albert Einstein, fear of relativity. <laughs> what? Fear of relativity. <laughs> <laughs> the faster you go, the heavier you get. That's what he said, isn't it? Well, that's bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> fat blokes be quicker on their feet, wouldn't they? <laughs> Yeah, you, do you want to get up here? Prove him wrong. <laughs> you know, you can't get out of your chair, can you? Oh, man. E equals some stuck in me chair. <laughs> say E yeah, equals stuck, stuck in me chair. chair. <laughs> Name another genius, David. Isaac Newton, would you say he's a genius? <laughs> yeah, you would. Isaac Newton, father of modern physics, gave us the world we live in today. Due to his theoretical applications uh, of physics. Now, gravity. I think. He wasn't a genius at all, in fact. What? I think he was a fucking time waster. Oh. He was what? He said he was what dumb. Did he do? How many lives do uh. we have in this world? Eh? Just the one. And what did he do with his one life? I'll tell you. For 23 years of his life, 23 years, all Isaac Newton did all day, every day, was think, wasn't it? Mm. Think. That's all he did all day, every day. Think. Mm. <laughs> that sounds like it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what if I divide by velocity? Nah, that'd be a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> what about that apple? Nah, no, yeah, there's nothing to do with any of this. Ugh, <laughs> 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 oh, I'll get back on the physics. Like that, yeah? <laughs> For 23 years of his life, and at the end of it, he came up with the idea that every action Causes an equal and opposite mm -hmm. reaction. Mm. 23 years hey. that took him to come up with eight fucking words. <laughs> 23 years. Now, we all know, if you spill some cunt's pint, he's going to lamp you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not physics, is it? It's economics, isn't it? <laughs> Supply and demand, he's asking for it. You're going to fucking give it to him, aren't you? <laughs> You say Shakespeare was a genius, Dave. Mm. I would agree with you. Shakespeare was a genius. It's just a shame he wasted it writing plays. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have something constructive like invent a smoke detector that doesn't go off when you're cooking sausages. <laughs> <laughs> but there is one name. When people talk about genius, mm. apart from Francis Drake, of course, mate, when people talk about genius, there's one name that always comes up. Mm. People talk about the sheer burning bright flame of human creativity, burning bright in one person, streaking across the night sky of human consciousness and culture. It's always Mozart, innit? Someone said Mozart. Mm. Mm. Did you say Mozart was a genius? Yeah? Wolfgang! <laughs> Emmaus! Mozart. Now, Jerry from Oz, I don't expect you to have heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> Wham! Yes. <laughs> Well. <laughs> yeah, you're saying he's a genius, were you, Dave? Yeah? Oh, he was man. certainly an ideal child, wasn't he? Yeah? By the time he was four, he was out of the house, wasn't he? <laughs> Generating income. You just can't, you can't argue with kids like that, can you? <laughs> Put it in the trust fund, fiddle it, that's right. <laughs> four quid when he's 21, that's the game plan. <laughs> Blame on inflation and the collapse of the housing market. Oh. Now, <laughs> inevitable collapse of the housing market. <laughs> the point is this. You're saying he's a genius, aren't you, Dave? Now, the reason people say that Mozart was a genius is because by the time he was aged three years old, by the time he was aged three years old, huh, he had written a tune of Twinkle Twinkle, <laughs> Little Star. <laughs> Do you know that tune, Angela? Do you know that tune? Yeah. You do. Would you like to sing it for us now? Mm. <laughs> Come on, love. 
<laughs> See you for us now. Into the microphone. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, okay. how I wonder what you Put are. Put your back into it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is your West End debut. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> milky for Christ's sake. Come on. Up above the. W <laughs> <laughs> I go down. Hey, Thanks. shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to you, sweetheart. Now, come on. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Let's round of applause, friends. <laughs> a flawless performance. Let's all sing it, shall we? Let's all sing that now. Because oh. Dave here is saying he's a genius to write that, so we need to, let's, let's just wallow in the sheer creative brilliance of my <laughs> daring compositional talent. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, <laughs> Somebody got the words, man. That hurt. Glorious. All of us singing together as a community. That was a beautiful British moment. It was like the Blitz in here for a minute, wouldn't it, Pops? <laughs> <laughs> Sit without the reassuring sound of East London being destroyed in the background. Oh. <laughs> tell you what, you can tell what you like about Herman Goering, but he could pick a place. Is <laughs> he gonna play? Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's just try this tune one more time, shall we, <laughs> You're saying he was a genius, right? It's not his son. Let's put your theory to the test. <laughs> <laughs> the way through this now. <laughs> and I'm yet to detect any traces of genius. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think he's going to turn it round with the last 12 notes. <laughs> Let's see, shall we? <laughs> oh no, what a fucking surprise. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was good. That was funny. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like um, Al Murray, he just knows how to tur turn just anything into a funny, funny moment. So yeah. that was really cool. And it's like when you think of Einstein, Shakespeare, Mozart, mm -hmm. it's like, of course you think of geniuses, but he found a way right, yeah. to completely flip the script. Flip the script. Right, absolutely. That was amazing. Right, yeah. So, guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. <laughs> Let us know what you thought about this performance. And also, we are on a comedy journey. We are looking for comedy comedians from all over the place. And that right now, we've. Funny. Yeah, that are funny. And so, <laughs> right now, we've actually been doing a lot of British comedy. Mm -hmm. So, if you have any British comedians that you would love to put us on to, let us know in the comment section. But as always, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all next time. Ta ta. All right, see y'all.